What you're looking at is the electric field of a charged particle that's accelerating to nearly the speed of light. With each burst of acceleration, the charge sends an electromagnetic wave radiating out to infinity, like the ripples of a stone dropped into a pond. To understand why, let's consider the simplest case, a particle that's been sitting at rest undisturbed until somebody comes along and gives it a sharp kick at time t equals zero, rapidly accelerating it to a relativistic speed v. Then what does the electric field of the charge look like both before and after that abrupt burst of acceleration? Well, beforehand, the charge has just been sitting at rest at the origin, and so it sources the usual electric field of a stationary charge. After the kick, though, when the particle is traveling with its new speed v, you might guess that it's just going to drag that same simple field along with it as it moves. But that's wrong, and we can see why for a very simple reason. Suppose we go to draw what the field looks like at t equals one second after the initial kick. Picture yourself standing with your electric field meter at a point like this that's a fair distance away from the origin. Let's say it's two light seconds away. Then at this moment, the news that the particle has suddenly started moving hasn't even reached you yet. It can't have, because a light signal emitted from the origin has only managed to travel half that distance in the intervening second. As far as you know from so far away, the charge is still sitting at rest at the origin, and the electric field that you measure can't have changed at all yet. Instead, from the moment of the kick at t equals zero, the news that the particle has accelerated radiates away from the origin in a spherical shell that expands outward at the speed of light. At any point outside the shell, nothing's changed yet compared to the state of the field before the kick. The field lines still point radially away from where the charge was at the origin for all the long time before the clock struck t equals zero. Inside the shell, on the other hand, the news that the particle is now moving has arrived. And so in this region, the field lines do emanate radially away from the current position of the charge. And in between, in the vicinity of the expanding shell, the two sets of field lines must smoothly connect to one another. And there's really only one way that they can in zigzagging arcs that run almost tangent to the shell. This is the electric field of a charge that's been rapidly accelerated from rest. Combined with the magnetic component, those expanding zigzags are the electromagnetic wave radiated out from the origin that communicates the news of the particle's acceleration. In other words, an accelerating charge must produce an electromagnetic wave, a ripple in the electric and magnetic fields that expands outward at the speed of light.